here with Mike Santos, uh, just a little bit about your new affiliation uh, with San Antonio, and you were there at one point, and a little bit about going back. Well, I um, I feel personally I have some unfinished business, you know, uh, and I think this organization has some unfinished business in San Antonio. Right. I think the uh, I think this organization has some unfinished business in San Antonio as well. It uh, it was actually an organization that I started with Rick Pitch, who's the president of the Spurs and and the Rampage, and. Um, you know the organization's drifted apart soon after I left, and uh, and now to be back together with them and do it the right way, I think that's uh, that's really important to me personally, but also to the to the Panthers. You guys are going to run everything. You guys have complete say we'll, over them. We will uh, we'll control everything on the hockey side of the okay. business, and the San Antonio Spurs will control everything on the business side. Um, and uh, we've already started. Uh, with all the other players we signed here today, we've, we've started to sign some players uh, as depth players who will obviously play here in Florida, but can be a good part of their team when they're in San Antonio as well. I mean, it's, it's important to have a good place and a good environment for your young kids to develop in. And they've got to be happy there, and um, you know they're going to be happy in a in a place like San Antonio. And uh, it's a good environment to, to develop players. And we really need a long-term relationship in a good place for our kids. Specifically, starting next season when we have 13 draft picks from last year's draft, and then 10 draft picks from this year's draft, who will be turning pro. You already added one guy today, but can San Antonio people expect some more additions along the way? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, I, I, uh, I've been talking right along with uh, a number of uh, agents regarding players who would be sort of call-up players for Florida and would be a big part of the San Antonio team and help our younger guys down there. Uh, sometimes it takes a little bit longer to get those players because they're, you know, they're, they're still hoping for bigger NHL deals. So it's, uh, it's typical that you don't start signing those types of players till later in the day today and even tomorrow and the following days. Was that kid Kotchka yesterday and then the other defenseman today? They were, they Mike, Koska, -way Mike Koska, actually, uh, we had last year on an American Hockey League contract. He played in Rochester. He had over 50 points as a right-handed defenseman. Um, so uh, he's a guy that we've signed to a, a two-way NHL deal. Um, he'll have a chance to uh, play his way up here. Uh, he's still a young player. He's an offensive-minded defenseman, <coughs> and um, you know, in, in unless he makes the team here, he, he looked to start down there in San Antonio. And then uh, we also signed Nolan Yonkman today, yeah. who's uh, who's uh, able to play at the NHL level, and actually was uh, one of the reasons I believe that he made his decision to sign with us was my relationship in the past with him, but also uh, he played some in San Antonio last year and really enjoyed it there. Rochester was such a mess last year it's with all the call-ups and things. Do you think with some of the moves you guys have made today that the organization, the Panthers, are deeper and maybe you won't have that problem as much? Well, we're, we're definitely deeper and we're going to continue to sign players so that we're more prepared. Um, you know, Dale and I uh, joined this organization a year ago. Um, actually, for me, it's a year ago today. So, unfortunately, Happy thank you. <laughs> uh, as Ron D. Gregorio said when he became president of USA Hockey, thank you, I think. <laughs> um, but, uh, you know, we were behind the eight ball last year. Um, we didn't have a scouting staff, we didn't have uh, the time to prepare for July 1st. And we were saddled with a lot of uh, players that were already under contract here. And that includes players that were ticketed to play in the American Hockey League. And so we really had to uh, you know, do what we could to try to be as competitive as we could last year, where this year we're able to, you know, to put a team together, both here and down in San Antonio. So I, I think you know, we'll definitely be deeper and more successful in both places. Mike.